Right, last video for rationalizing denominators. So some of the previous ones, we just had a, a simple, say, root 11 on the denominator. But now look at this. We've got a couple of things on the denominator. A root 5, negative 6. Now, the reason why I showed you about conjugates and how you, know, you multiply uh, an expression with its conjugate and you get a nice whole integer, okay, remember from the last videos, well, that is what we're going to have to do for this. So the idea about rationalizing denominator when you've got something like 10 or 11 is to multiply by its conjugate. So if I kind of do this, okay, so here's the denominator, okay. Well, if I multiply by its conjugate, which for this one is root 5 plus 6, okay, so it's root 5 minus 6, so the conjugate is root 5 plus 6, okay. So that's what we're going to multiply by. But don't forget, you've got to do that to the top as well. Okay, it's like saying you multiply by 1. Remember, anything divided by itself is 1. So really, I'm not really changing anything. Okay, so that is what I am going to do. Okay, that is the setup for me to rationalize the denominator. Okay, so let's have a look. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. Uh, root 5 times positive 6 is positive 6 root 5. That's all I can write. Okay. Okay, so think about it. I'm doing a foil. Okay. Right, what's negative 6 times root 5? That's negative 6 root 5, hopefully. So let's look at this and go, okay, those are the two that are going to cancel. All right. And finally, what's negative 6 times positive 6? Negative 6. 36 okay so let's go down here right so uh, we have uh, that one and that one go for my actual denominator and in other words, I've rationalized it what's 5 take away 36 it's negative 31 okay so that's the denominator done but look I've still got to do the numerator and that is this here okay so what's 4 times root 5, all you can do is write 4 root 5, okay? Uh, what's 4 times 6? It's 24, and that's it, okay? So if I look at that, I keep thinking, is there anything I can do with that? Um, Cancelling, 31 is a prime number, so that looks like the answer to me. Let's have a quick question 11. Okay, so again, I will multiply by root 2 minus 1. That's the conjugate. So root 2 minus 1. Okay, let's have a look at this. So again, it's like I'm doing a foil. Okay, that one times that one for the denominator. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Now, well, if you can kind of get realize that if you do the outer and the inner, the conjugates will always cancel, okay? The outer and the inner will cancel. So I'm just going to go for a shortcut. I'm just going to do the first and the last. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now, do the full foil if you want to, but you'll realize that the outer and the inner will cancel. So again, I've just done the first and the last. Um, 2 take away 1, okay, right. So that's nice. That's just 1. Right, what's 9 root 2? It's 9 root 2. What's 9 times negative 1? It's negative 9. Okay, so there's the answer. I don't really need the 1 on the bottom for this one because, you know, anything divided by 1 is just itself. So that's the answer to that one. So that's how you do the conjugates of these type of questions. Okay?